Welcome to ABM EduTech, your trusted partner in professional training and placement services. We empower your career with the skills and knowledge you need to succeed. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational videos and career tips. Let's talk about the very first step in any database journey. How to create and select a database. First, to create a database, use the create database statement. It's as simple as this. Create database demo. Here demo is the name of the database. Now to work with this database, you need to select it using the US command. Like this, US demo. You're now inside the database ready to run your SQL queries. Always double check the database name to avoid errors. After creating a database, let's learn about the types of SQL commands. SQL commands are instructions. It is used to communicate with the database. It is also used to perform specific tasks, functions, and queries of data. SQL can perform various tasks like create a table, add data to tables, drop the table, modify the table, set permission for users. Let's discuss about the DDL commands first. DDL changes the structure of the table like creating a table, deleting a table, altering a table, etc. All the command of DDL are auto-committed. That means, it permanently save all the changes in the database. For creating a table, create command is used. Syntax for creating a table is create table. Then we have to write the name of the table. For now, let's take the name of the table that we want to create is test. So the command for creating a table test will be create table test. Then we have to mention the columns name with their data types. For example, create table test, name data type, aged data type, address, Data type. Name, age, address are the column name followed with their data types. We have seen how to create a table in the SQL. Now we will learn about another DDL command that is drop. Drop is used to delete both the structure and record stored in the table. Syntax for the drop query is drop table. And then table name, for example, drop table test. Here test is the table name. And drop query will delete the structure and record of the table. Next we have another DDL query, alter. It is used to alter the structure of the table. This change could be either to modify the characteristics of an existing column or probably to add a new column. Syntax for adding a new column. Alter table, table name, ADD column name, data type, syntax. To modify existing column in the table, alter table, table name, modify column, data type. Next DDL command is truncate. It is used to delete all the rows from the table and free the space containing the table. Syntax, truncate table table name. Example, truncate table test. We have seen all the DDL commands that are used in the SQL to define the structure of the table. Now we will learn about DML commands. DML stands for Data Manipulation Language. DML commands are used to modify the database. It is responsible for all form of changes in the database. The command of DML is not auto-committed. That means it can't permanently save all the changes in the database. They can be rolled back. Commands that come under DML are insert, update, delete, and select. These commands are used for the manipulation in the table. First, we will see insert statement. The insert statement is a SQL query. It is used to insert data into the row of a table. Syntax of insert query. Insert into table name. Then we have to define the columns of the table in which we want to insert the record, followed by values. Then in bracket, we have to give the values that we want to insert in the table. For example, insert into test, which is a table name bracket, open column name, for example, name, age, address, bracket close, values bracket open. Then we have to write the values, for example, in name column, ABC in age column, 30 and in address column, Delhi bracket close. This is how we can insert record in the table. After insert query, next DML query we have is update. This command is used to update or modify the value of a column in the table. If we want to modify any existing record of the table, then update query is used. Syntax for the update query is update table name set column name once in value 1. Column name n x value n followed by where condition reverse reversion. Make the changes in the required value. Now we will see about another DML command that is delete. It is used to remove one or more row from a table. If we want to remove any row with the records from our table, then delete command is used. Syntax of delete command 
is delete from table name followed by where condition to specify the particular data that is to be deleted. For example, we want to delete a record from a table test, then delete from test, which is table name where name ABC. We have seen insert, update, delete. Now we will learn how to fetch the data from the table. For that, select command is used. It is used to select the attribute based on the condition described by where clause. If we want to select any particular attribute and without where condition, it is used to select all the attributes of the table. For example, from the table test, we want to select the age of a person named ABC. So, select query for the will be select AG from test where name equal to ABC. After DDL and DML commands, we have DCL commands. DCL stands for data control language. DCL commands are used to grant and take back authority from any database user. In DCL commands, we have grant and revoke. Grant is used to give access privileges to a database and revoke is used to take back the permission from the user. Syntax for grant is grant select, update on table name to user1, user2. Select update are the permission that are given. Syntax for revoke is revoke select, update on table name e from user1, user2. I hope DDL, DML, DCL commands are clear to you. Now let's see. TCL commands in SQL. TCL stands for Transaction Control Language. They are the commands that can only be used with DML commands like insert, delete and update only. These operations are automatically committed in the database. That's why they cannot be used while creating tables or dropping them. First, we have commit command. Commit. Commit command is used to save all the transactions to the database. Syntax for commit command is it is used after DML query. We simply have to write commit after the DML command. Next, we have rollback. Rollback command is used to undo transactions that have not already been saved to the database. And the last we have. Save point. It is used to roll the transaction back to a certain point without rolling back the entire transaction. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you get a solid start with MySQL. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tutorials. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. Happy coding and see you in the next video.